video I wanted to go through some amazing things I have a big announcement so there is a, a video coming out where I will show you guys a real bug bounty hunting the only thing the video yeah make sure everything is legal and I have uh, reached out to the company if I can like post certain things of this video uh, about the bug bounty and how I could post it but there is no response and if there will be no response then I just going to post it but I'm just going to leave out everything that is related to the company so you guys can see like the bug that I'm uh, finding and how I'm exploring it but you cannot see like the company uh, where I'm doing this uh, on so that is the legal thing so that is holding the video a little bit up so that's maybe why I think a lot of YouTubers are not showing this because I think it's it's not easy to, to bring this bring this out because because when I first started uh, Big One to my own I was hoping to see more and more of these videos where people just showing how they capture bugs in real life and things like that but I noticed like there are not many videos you see videos of recon and things like that but videos about capturing the bug and exploiting the bug mm, you, you didn't see you don't see much in YouTube videos because yeah, it, maybe it also just hurts like I'm showing this to you guys now. Maybe there are more books like this out there so you guys can find these too. But like I really don't care. I just wanted to help you guys learn this and, and then we can all learn together. So that's that's the amazing part. Uh, the second announcement what I want to uh, what I want to share with you guys is the Discord channel to communicate communicate with each other will be uh, down below in the description. So you can just sign up, you just need to fill I think a little form. The Discord channel is not all ready to go, but we can start communicating and help each other out. So that, that's the first part. I will build, build further on this later on, but I had a lot of reactions from people where can I reach out to you and things like that. And I wanted to centralize it in one place, so we're going to centralize it on Discord. Okay, let's now dive into the video. So what I want to show you guys is my goals for 2024 because I think it's really interesting and I wanted to show you guys like uh, this certificate of uh, TCM security. They have this really nice web certificate launched. I passed it and I want to show you guys like how I did it. Not no, how I did it, but like how you can prepare for it and things you need to pay attention on because I think I'm already going to say it. TCM is one of the best courses out there and they are really fast growing. It's a really nice company with a good heart for the customers because it's not that pricey and they have really, really fast and good support for a lot of things. So really, if you never heard of TCM after this video, you just need to look them up and go for it. Okay, so now the next thing is going to be the goals, what I have set for 2024. So like you guys see, I wanna eat some more healthy foods yeah, just a thing for myself. I want to become a little bit more back into my physique. So I'm going to go running a little bit, some pull-ups and some push-ups. It's a basic, but I noticed I work a lot sitting and my days are, ah, I have my day job. It's, uh, it's eight hours, nine hours a day. Then I have the YouTube channel, the bug bounty. So I sit around yeah, 10 to 12 hours a day behind the screen. Those are long days. So, uh, getting some physical health and it's, it's never bad. I want to grow this YouTube channel. I, I hope to see uh, by the end of next year to 4K subscribers. But I see like this year, this year we, we are hitting like 3K subscribers. Maybe we can hit it before the end of the year. So please like and subscribe to help me out. <laughs> uh, next, I want to expand like my web hacking. Like I like web hacking, but I want to, to to dive really deep in this. So maybe I, I need to go for the senior web pen tester. It's recently coming out from uh, Hack the Box or something like the Web 200, Web 2, 300 or the ASCP API course from uh, Corey Balls. But the other thing what I think is really interesting into this web ha hacking is I want to go also into like creating more back to those pipelines, securing uh, pipelines, setting up my own APIs, secure coding, because I'm a developer from my background and I don't want to lose those skills and I want to expand it and maybe I can automate something. So there are things what I want to, yeah, it's building back up in 2024 because I think it's really, really interesting. Okay, I want to find some more books. So I want to expand my bug bounty journey and 
and, and, and find some more bucks. I don't have like set a price goal what I wanna aim at at 2024 because I think it's only gonna give me stress and uh, I'm not really doing it for, for, for making a lot of money. I just love to, to engage and train because I, I wanna feel more confident in things what I'm doing when I'm hacking. And then last but not least, I wanna, I'm, I don't know what, but I wanna focus a little bit more on AI or I wanna focus a little bit on blockchain. I wanna learn one of those two technologies, better to understand these technologies because I think they are really interesting. And I think personally, yeah, one of them is gonna be the future for sure. And But I think the, the both of them is gonna be the future. So knowing these things, it's really important also in security because AI is coming into the security, but blockchain also. There are also some really nice blockchain uh, hacking platforms where you can earn a lot, but a lot of money. I mean like millions. So, but just the technology is really interesting. I'm Like I said, it's not really for the money, but the technology behind the blockchain, I think it's really decent. So it's really something you, yeah, I wanna look into. And I think if you wanna draw, these are things when you have this, uh, this, these skills, it really looks good on your uh, resume. Okay, next off, let's go to TCM Security. Okay, so this is the website of TCM Security. This is the course you wanna follow if you are wanna do this, uh, so if you wanna get this certificate from them. So if you guys see, I did do finish this course uh, two months ago. I think I was one of the first one to finish this course because I got really great responses from Heath himself from the TCM security. It was really fun. And if you scroll a little bit up, yeah, you see I passed the cast. Okay, this is my LinkedIn profile. So you guys know if you want to search me, yeah, that's me. Hello. Here you see I get my certificate. Can I open this real quick? You will see I, I passed the exam on the 9th of December and I am an early adapter. So I'm on, I was one of the first, I didn't, don't really know uh, how fast I was, I think in the top 20, I think I was in the top 20 of the early adapters, but I'm not for sure for that, so don't, uh, don't go further on that. But I was an early adapter, like you guys see on the certificate, because I really liked it. I really loved the course, I went through it in, in two or three days, so I went through it really, really, really fast. And it's really teaching you guys the basics, so how you can start using burp suites, uh, attacking multi-factor authentications, either. This is the basic. And I think if you do this course, it's, it's not that big of a course, like you see, this is the end. And you do all the labs because the labs they create are awesome. They create, for every course, they create their own labs. So I think that that's really awesome. And the courses are also really hands-on focused. So it's not a lot, uh, Theoretical, it's all practicing. And I think that is the best way for me personally to learn because I'm not a very good the theoretical learner. I love to uh, do those hands-on hacking, trial and error, make mistakes. But from those mistakes you grow. Sometimes I, I spend hours on, on something and I really don't understand it. But if you persist, you will get there. So yeah, I think that's the mentality you need to, uh, need to have, especially for bug bounty because uh, Big Bounty can make you feel really insecure and uh, can make you feel really like, oh, I'm not getting anywhere, I don't find bugs, so I'm just suck at this. But no, that's not true. Like, a lot of people are doing those Big Bounties and a lot of great minds, all of them are great minds. So if you find a bug, you, you, you just need to be super excited because a lot of great people have first created that application, uh, make sure the application was safe, maybe 10, 20 developers, uh, project manager, architect, designer. So a lot of great people are working on the application. If you find a bug, you just yeah, beat the whole team who was building the application. So it's not, you never need to be uncomfortable, but it comes, I know. I feel also, so uh, it's the imposter syndrome is so, it's basically everywhere in the IT, so it's normal. But don't give it, don't, don't give into it. Okay, but the last tip I wanted to give you guys with this, uh, with this certificate, what you can get is do hold this course, but focus. I think what, what for me maybe the, the biggest thing was focus on this uh, writing your reporting part. 
I think people underestimate how hard it is to write a good and decent report. And I noticed it with myself, not only with this course, but also uh, with my work. I recently have to, uh, we, we, we're doing pen tests and I have to write my reports. Because I'm a junior at my work, uh, they go through my, my lead, my, my two leads, and like they review, they get feedback, and I make adjustments. But it needs to be perfect because non technical people are going to read it and technical people are going to read it. And you need to describe every step you do, but in good words. And it needs to be decent. If you place a, a dot at the end of every sentence, you need to do it consistently everywhere because. They don't like to see like if you do it there and then you're not and then you do it again. It needs to be a really, really, really good written report. And that's really difficult. Uh, especially for me, like I, to be honest, I think the hacking part, I think it's more easy. I, I feel more comfortable and, and, and start hacking a, a web application. Then I feel comfortable in opening my words and start creating these reports because I think that's just really, really hard. So. That was like this video for today. So the things I want to hi highlight is there is coming my first real, uh, where, where I'm going to show you guys this real bug and a real website on a bug bounty platform. Next up, the Discord is going to be below so we can communicate. And if you really want to go starting in this bug bounty, start doing this course. And if you have done this course, go get the certificate. And you will feel more comfortable also when you get the certificate because then you know like this is a good team, this is a team of really high uh, appreciate hackers, they are really good at their job and if you can pass that you know you have a certain skill level that they think is okay to start. So yeah, this was the, I think this is going to be the last video for this year because I don't think I get any response back before the new year about the video about the hacking but if I get I will post that video as soon as possible online so you guys can see a first real bug found in the wild. Okay, alrighty, really thanks for watching to this video. I hope you have the best holidays and I see you guys in the next one.